Well, howdy, and welcome back to Pro Tip Tuesday. Hope you're having a great week. This week's message is another simple one, but important. And it's mostly aimed at, at newer CFIs coming up through the profession, but those of us who have been around for a while, we could, we could benefit to be reminded of this every once in a while as well. And that is, it's okay to say no every once in a while. It's okay to have limits for yourself. So I want to list some behaviors, some habits that I've seen among newer CFIs, myself included when I was new and coming through the ranks. And I'm curious how many of these you can relate to. Working a bunch of consecutive seven day weeks, week on end, and flying most of your eight hours every single one of those days. Flying late into the night when you were fatigued. Flying on holidays. Flying and missing family events. Flying airplanes that you didn't exactly get warm fuzzies about. Flying with clients you didn't get warm fuzzies about. It seems like that's a rite of passage sometime for new CFIs is flying with the person nobody else wants to fly with. Doing things around the flight school or in the airplane that are way more motivated financially, either on a boss's part or your part, than because they're a good idea. I think if you've been around for a while, all of us have done at least one of these things. I just think that we need to be a little bit better about standing up for ourselves every once in a while. After all, what's that E in the pave checklist? It's external pressures, right? And one big way that it manifests itself is in people pleasing and all these behaviors, they're really people pleasing. And guess what? Just like everything else, we're leading by example and our students think that it's okay. And so these habits just get passed along through the tribe, so to speak, right? So it's not a good idea from that standpoint. And let's look at it this way. Let's say that you're in aviation or in, in flight instruction to build time to go be an airline pilot. I've already said, I don't have a problem with you if that's one of the reasons that you're here. But I want you to remember this while you're here. You're not an indentured servant. You're a CFI. You worked your ass off to get here. You're a professional doing a crucial job with which your industry would not survive. You need to be, you need to demand to be treated that way. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm not telling you to be a bump on the log. I'm not telling you to be a no man. I'm not telling you to be a, a thorn in someone's side, but I am telling you, pick your battles wisely and, and know when to say no and know when to stand up for yourself. For my part, I respect that a whole lot more than I do people who just say yes to everything. Your sanity will thank you. Your integrity will thank you. And you might just ensure your survival to go fly those cooler airplanes. We'll see you all next week. Fast more.